So I should be able to hit him now, right? Come on. Spectre boy. Nice. And then him here too. Look at this. Whoa, look at this damage. Holy smokes, this is insane. Dude, these weapons are so good now. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the new buffed claw, jaw, and talon weapon here on the test server. You can see last time I made a video, they made 1,700 damage. Now they're at 2,300, just for the light version. We have the same uh, angler robot twice with these weapons, and uh, I've played before and recorded another video, and I got absolutely decimated by this setup, and I was like, wait a minute. Last time I tested this, it wasn't so powerful. So I checked the damage numbers and I've seen a huge buff in damage for these weapons. 350 meters range is not exactly a sniper weapon, so let's see how well we can use it on the uh, canyon map. Um, but uh, the homing in ability on these weapons is pretty crazy. You can fire over cover. The damage output is now really, really good. Um, so yeah, it's a dangerous setup. Uh, and I think some people will be happy to use it once it reaches the live server. This guy is a sniper, and this guy is something else, it's a Seraph, so he's already coming. I think we might be able to just shoot over the cover here, look at this. We're not even exposing ourselves to him. This is so crazy, look how much damage we can do. The entire behemoth gets co oh no, he would be getting, ah he's done, okay. So he's coming in with a Demeter shield, and I can just do this, also this damage has been buffed from these. He does more damage now with the ability. Both of them lose their target lock now. Pop, there he goes. He had his ability used and he's also going down. Look at this, guys. This is nuts. Activating an extra shield, which I've already gotten. Also, this seems to have been fixed. Remember last time we did the live server, uh, the test server, it seemed to take forever to charge up the ability, um, uh, the battleship ability. That goes really quickly now, too. We already did six kills. It's nuts. I don't even need to lose my ability here. Not yet, anyways. Okay. And now we're using it against the Scorpy boy. He's jumping on me, so he's gonna take the full damage and his targeting system gets disabled at the end of the ability here. Look what we're doing to them, man! This is just nuts! Look how these weapons have been buffed! No one is safe from me. I can shoot over cover and hit everybody. Look at the damage this Seraph is taking. Dude, what the heck? Now he's flying again. I'm not surprised. Going into ability here, dealing damage, hiding behind him so that the Seraph can't hit me. His targeting system gets disabled once I come out of my ability charge. He comes out of his ability and he's pop! Gone. Activating healing here and activating next ability charge. Oh no, I, I apparently didn't do it, but it's okay. We don't need to. Alright. He's unloading what he's got. I'm still in good shape, activating ability now, and look at the damage he's taking. Going just down from my ability, and pop! Living legend! Shield on me, I'm just absolutely bum-rushing their base. Dude, what is going on with this setup? This is gonna be a meta bomber! Why can I hit him? I'm actually out of my weapons range. I shouldn't be hitting him, now I can. Look. Going into ability now, we've lost some damage output. Because, uh, yeah, turns out we uh, lost a weapon. And of course it's the heavy weapon. Ugh. Of course it's the heavy weapon. Here, shooting around cover. Look at this. Shooting over the obstacles. Uh, he's shooting back behind cover. Coming in with ability charge. Coming out of it. Pop. Healing. If possible. <laughs> okay. Yo. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Canyon. It's not even uh, a brawling map. It's a freaking sniper map. And I'm hanging in their spawn, continuously ruining their day. So we get uh, damage from the Titan. He's not safe behind this cover. This guy is not safe behind his cover either. The enemy Titan is using his reflector. Now I'm playing a little more careful. These weapons are so good! Okay. Using the ability here, he's going down from it, and pop, there he goes. Bye-bye, Scorpion. They can't even deal damage to me. Ah, hey, 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 hey. How are you still curving shots at me, dude? Alright, we have to get a little closer. Enemy Titans are spawning in. Remember, there is also some kind of 
um, rust effect. That's something we always forget about in these weapons. They also have some kind of rust effect that makes it so yeah, that you deal, you deal damage that, you know, over time, or you reduce their enemy maximum HP pool, basically, in some way. Activating my ability here. Look at this. He's trying to escape, and when I come out of it, his targeting system is going to be disabled. Activating healing. A uh, shield on me. I'm hoping it comes in time. Pop, yes, but Titan is also here. I already lost the weapon, and guess what weapon it is? It's the heavy weapon again. Dude, what the heck? War robots, are you trolling me? Come on. Every time I lose a weapon, I lose the one heavy weapon I have. The game is trolling me like so much right now, man. Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> 26. 26 versus 13. Look at this leech. His ability is absolutely worthless here. He might be able to inflict a lot of damage to me too. Because his weapons deal a lot of damage. Uh, but uh, yeah. Oh, I'm disabling both of these guys' abilities. And let's start to finish off. Shield on me, shield on him. Shield on everybody, of course. Keep firing, blinding him. Blinded by the light. <laughs> Watch, I'm getting copyright strikes now because I'm singing this so often. Behind cover here and pop! Titan go gone too. Stupid blinding weapons. In my opinion, you know what these blinding weapons need to be balanced? They need a lock-on. If they had a lock-on time like Cataclysm and Cyclone, these weapons would be fair. Because you couldn't instantly switch targets and do all these crazy, uh, yeah, crazy things. Alright, so back in the hangar here, you can see we've done 4.3 million damage with this. It's completely insane. And I just realized I have Manny Gaming in my random pilot ID on the test server. Ka-ching! <laughs> Let's jump into one more battle with this crazy meta setup that we will soon see on the live server. And ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy staying up to date and you like the video content, then please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done it yet. I would appreciate it. Alright, so we're on the second map, ladies and gentlemen. Carrier Beacon Rush. Uh, let's go and have some fun with the new angler weapons. Um, there's a Loki on that beacon. Here comes an enemy angler. He's gonna be too far away to make use of his ability against us. I can, I could deal damage to the uh, Loki, but I want to keep my ability against him here. Um, he's going to use his ability again, and after the end of it, I can use mine. Like, basically like now. See? And I'm dealing damage to him underneath me, and pop, he's gone. Very nice. Here's a Scorpy boy. He's gonna teleport back. Yep, there it is. But he's still in range of my weapons, and I can drop him. Shield on me, and pop, there he goes. I, I dude, I love these weapons. The quick aiming, they're not, no lock on. Quick aiming, perfect accuracy, shooting over cover. It's just generally very effective and, 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 and useful. Alright, and here he comes out of his ability and we uh, out of the last stand and pop, there he goes. Wow, that is really fun. We have a Spectre who's going to jump now in his stealth. His Ion didn't hit me because I saw his Ion already. Shooting over cover, I'm not even using my ability, I'm just gathering shields and uh, yeah. I can finish him off, maybe. No, he, I can't actually, but him I can hit. When he comes up, I can hit him. He's not coming. Come up, dude. Come up. He's not coming! Now some shield is blocking the damage. So I should be able to hit him now, right? Come on. Spectre boy. Nice. And then him here too. Look at this! Whoa! Look at this damage! Holy smokes, this is insane! Dude, these weapons are so good now. They have been buffed so heavily. They're really powerful now. Remember how, how weak they were on the last test server session? I just deleted a behemoth from here without even showing myself. So uh, the harpy has meanwhile disabled my weapons and my, my physical shields. He's still on me. It's uh, very annoying. Shield on me. Cube shooting him. He's timed out by a Sharenga. Nice job, Sharenga. Um, I don't know why he timed him out. There was no reason to do that. 
But this guy, he's a threat. We need to take care of him. And see, his cover is not working. His cover doesn't work against us. And I, I must admit, I don't quite understand how the uh, effect uh, works with the um, with the rust, the rust effect. I don't quite understand how it works. Okay, I'm going into cover now. I'm gonna lose my last stand probably. No, I keep my last stand. And from here I can heal up and shoot over cover. Uh, enemy Ao Ming is already gone. This Titan, look at this. He's not safe there. I can completely unload all the rockets from here. Shield on me. Wow. These weapons are so good. He's still taking damage. He's still getting hit. Pop. Next guy. Almost gotten him killed. So that is the enemy angler. We just gotten our max damage from the uh, uh, from the nuclear amplifier, fully maxed. There's a Typhon robot. He wanted to disable me, I don't allow this. I'm just coming in, disabling both of these people's targeting system. Like this. Pop, kill him. Pop, kill him. Shield for Titan and me. Again, absolute meta carry this thing. An absolute meta carry. Shooting over cover as if it was nothing. You're always able to shoot, no matter where you are, no matter where the enemy is. Look, this guy, you're always able to shoot. And look at the damage, too. Stupid Sharanga timeout, man. Wow, this is really impressive. This, this weapon is going to be very effective. It's going to be extremely popular, too. He's lit- he's really in safety there, man. Unreal. Alright. He actually found a spot to hide behind. Again with the four minute wait time! Oh my god, what- Oh, this test server is horrible. Oh no, okay, it worked. So, how much damage was it this time? Thankfully, I didn't have to wait four minutes this time. Uh, 2.4 million. Uh, we did not have first place this time, but yo, it was just one robot we used from the beginning till the end, and it's so good. Wow. Um, this is what Pixonic does. They test server things, weapons on the test server, and the feedback was the weapon wasn't powerful enough. And now it's been buffed, and it's really powerful now. Is it too powerful? It's always hard to say how it performs on the live server at Mark III, for example. But these weapons are insane. Uh, really good now and uh, I think we will see them uh, on the live server for sure once uh, once they're released So yeah for now. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one catch you in the next video and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye